When it comes to updating the meeting, like either the time or just some additional notes, come over here and let's do pumpkin carving, double click, make your changes, then click send update. Now when it comes to adding or deleting attendees, like for example, let me click to the right of training room, semicolon as the delimiter. To separate, hit the space bar, training room, from Mr. Humphrey's email address, hit the tab key and there you go. Now remember, when you add an email to the to field, it's going to place it in the required field when you click on the to button. And there you go, Mr. Humphrey's right there. So if he's not required, but his attendance is optional, well, then come down here and type it in there. I'm going to leave it there and click OK. It rearranges it so whoever's required is at the front, and then those that are optional, and then, of course, the training resources. Now, when you click on Send Update, when you add or delete attendees to the meeting, it's supposed to give you a pop-up, and I say supposed to because it's not working for me on this computer. It does on all my other computers that I work with. I'm using Microsoft Outlook here in this manner. It'll give you a pop-up that says, do you want to be able to send it out just to those who are invited or deleted or to everybody? So because it doesn't work here, I can't click on Send Update, but the workaround is an extra click. I have to come up here and click on the Save button first. Then it's going to ask me to save changes and then send the update out to everybody or not save it and just keep the meeting open. So if it doesn't save it, well, that's no good. Let me go ahead and save it and click OK. And then it takes me to this screen, this screen that it should have taken me to when I clicked on Send Update in the first place, which I'm not going to do now because I've tried it many times, and it just sends it out. It doesn't give me the option. So I wanted to show you the option. Hopefully it works for you. If not, then go ahead and click on Save, and then click OK, and then you'll get the window. Like I said, it works on my other computers. I think this one just has a bug with the Outlook program. In any case, you can send the update to only those who have been added or deleted or to everybody. You want to send it to everybody because Carrie needs to know who else is coming so she can bring extra pumpkins for Mr. Humphreys and his family. Then go ahead and click OK and away it goes. It's gone. So if I want to go ahead and update it again and say, OK, Mr. Humphreys is not going to be coming. I'm going to cancel it for him. You can actually cancel the entire meeting which it will include everybody's email address in that cancellation. But if I just go ahead and remove one and delete Mr. Humphreys, and then, well, I have to save it first, but you should be able to click on Send Update, but I have to save it and then say Yes, save the changes, OK, and then I get the window to send updates only to those added or deleted. So in this example, let's just do it to those who've been deleted. Click OK, and away it goes. Now, to see what it looks like on the other person's end when they get a cancellation, all you have to do is go to the mail folder to your sent items because remember, everything that you send off, a copy of it is stored in the sent items folder. Select it, and that's what it looks like. Mr. Humphreys is going to get a red X through the calendar, canceled pumpkin carving. Double click, he'll open it up and go, OK, it's been canceled, and it's got his email address. Now, when I send a cancellation to everybody, then it'll be everybody's email addresses included in that. So keep that in mind that you may not want to do a sneaky cancellation and just try to get somebody from not coming and saying, hey, you're no longer invited. I mean, they could figure it out if they just see their email address, like by watching this training video and go, oh, I guess it's just me that they're canceling. So as opposed to, let me go ahead and close out. I know, bear with me, I really want to show you this. So let me go back to the calendar, click on March, and roll past with my mouse held down, the left button, to October. Pumpkin carving, double click. And then let's go ahead and do semicolon, Mr. Humphreys, tab key. Let's go ahead and send the update. And you see how it just flew out. It went out to everybody. It shouldn't do that. It should give you the pop-up to include everybody or not. In any case, let's go ahead and double click. And when I just cancel the meeting, then everybody's going to get this. So send cancellation. And what is it going to look like? Well, let's go back to the mail folder to the sent items. And there we go. There's the first cancellation just for Mr. Humphreys. And then the second double click. You see where it's got Mr. Humphreys there as required and Carrie is optional. She's now included. So that way you can do some deductive reasoning. If you were initially invited to a meeting and there's like 20 gazillion people, and then all of a sudden, you get a response that says canceled, and you're the only one in that response, that cancellation. Well, you've been canceled, but nobody else has. Otherwise, you'd see all their emails, whether in required or optional, down below. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like when Carrie sends us an update. Let's go to the inbox here. 
when she includes Mr. Humphreys to that haunted house investigation in October, the one that I already accepted. Of course, she has to include everybody and not just those who she invited to attend the meeting. So she did include me. I ought to get that email very shortly. And there it is. So, well, we got the two dudes here, but when I double click to open it up, you can see in the respond group, no response required. I for FYI for your information. Well, what's the dealio? And you can see next to it, change the response because I've already responded. And you can see down below, I accepted this yesterday. So I could change my response and go, I'm going to decline because down below, the difference is, is that I was the only one that was coming to this investigation. Now it's Mr. Humphreys. And I could say, well, if he's going, I'm not going. In any case, let's go ahead and close out. And the two dudes that were right there, updates to a blue circle with an eye in it, like some updated information about the meeting. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.